<clears throat> Alright guys, it's your boy the coldest barber, AJ the coldest barber. And um I don't know if you can hear me. I'm actually doing this video outside. Um uh, taking a break from cutting hair right now. And this subject is gonna be about commission versus rent. And now now like rent versus commission. So the thing is, you know, a lot of people especially you know beginners they want to know where you know when they get out of school where where should they go you know like should it be rent or should it be commission you know should, what would be the best for them and in my opinion i break it down like this a lot of places shops have i guess like an average that you can expect but they all kind of have their own little price set prices so when you're doing rent they're gonna have different prices at different places. I've been to places where rent was a hundred dollars a week, and then I've been to places where rent was two hundred dollars a week. So it's different. It's different um, prices for different places. Now for commission, the average. On commission is about 60 40 your way so you get about 60 percent and the, the shop will keep 40 percent of every haircut you do not you you know they'll total it up but you know you get charged per haircut you know and um, and if you're if you're lucky enough if you're fortunate enough you'll be able to find a place that's like um, 70 30 and 70 30 is a really good deal 70 30 is a, a great deal i mean if you can get 70 30 commission your way 70 percent your way 30 percent to the uh to the shop that that's that's always a good deal when it comes down to commission okay so the way you decide on whether you want to do commission or not i in my opinion is basically uh i guess maybe depending on clientele so if you go to a place that's 60 40 your way then you're probably going to a place that may not pick up too much clientele and uh i mean if they do 60 40 i mean it's all right you know but that's like you're almost giving up half of your stuff you know and um now if you're going to a place 70 30 that's a great place if you're fortunate enough to find a place that does 70 30 i mean just hop on it you know what i'm saying that way by the end of the week you know whether they do it at the end of the day some places will give you the pay your pay at the end of the day some places will give you pay at the end of the week so uh but regardless if you're doing 70 30 your way i mean you just you just winning you just winning man it's always a good deal so if you find 70 30 do it um i mean 70 30 i think wins over rent too you know what i'm saying if you can find 70 30 now 60 40 commission that's just that that's just if you're finding a place to work you want to start working you know you don't have to pay out of pocket that's fine do what you do now commission if commission is anywhere from 100 to 150 a week that's a great deal however i mean sorry not commission <laughs> i already did that uh rent if rent is a hundred dollars to 150 a week then that's a, a really great deal it's really cheap However, you're gonna you're gonna need make sure that you are cutting enough hair. You know, regardless, you're gonna make a lot more than a hundred dollars a week. So you're good, you know what I'm saying? Paying a hundred to a hundred and fifty on rent. So if you come across a hundred to a hundred and fifty a week on rent, that's actually a great deal. Um well also and then now if they charge in anywhere from 160 to 180 maybe even 200 a week then you got to know that you're at a really legit place like the place if they charge in 200 a week i'm not going to say that it's a ripoff but make sure that you're getting what you pay for basically even even in barbers situations you know what i'm saying when you paying rent usually you're getting what you pay for so if you're paying a hundred dollars a week it's probably not that jumping right now they're probably desperate for barbers you know what i'm saying and just trying to make their way up right now and so you might not make that much money but at the same time you're not gonna waste that much money because it's only a hundred a week 200 a week that place better be like marble top you know what i'm saying 
countertops, you know what I'm saying? Like, just the best of luxury, you know, air compressors, you know, at every station. I mean, your station just has to look like luxury. Your chair has to be, you know, well over 1500 you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 $2,000, you know what I'm saying, per chair. That's how, like, luxurious a shop has to look if you're paying 200 a week for rent. And and it has to be jumping. Like it has to be a lot of people going and and it has to be a great price, a great set price, you know, something like twenty at least twenty dollars a haircut, at least. If you paying two hundred dollars for rent and you working somewhere that's that's charging you uh that's charging c- customers only fifteen dollars a haircut and it's probably just opening or something or they just not jumping with a bunch of walk-in clientele like that then you might got trouble on your hands you know what i'm saying so rent is better when you have a lot of clientele or it always depends on the place you know like it's it's important if you don't if you're not completely just booked on clientele and you need walk-ins then you need to make sure that whatever shop you go to has walk-ins. You need to ask them. You need to see how honest they are about it. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, it, that breaks everything down from your 60-40 commission to your 70-30 commission or your rent. You know what I'm saying? 100 to 200 a week. So all that varies from where you're at. So I can't just say, oh, well, you know, 200 don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Or 200 do it. I'm saying do it in certain, do it or don't do it in certain circumstances. Like if it's 200 and the place looks raggedy and it don't look like it's really got a lot of people, then there's no point in paying that much, you know, for rent. Now, if it's $100, you know, and it's, and I mean, if it's just 100 a week, you're pretty much just winning, period. And, um, you know, for commission, like I said, 60, 40, Eh, but if if you're kind of desperate just to get into a place and just to kind of find work, go to a 60-40 place. It'll be some little, you know what I'm saying, somewhere down the street or something, you know. 70-30 um, commission, you're winning, you know. So that's my review on rent versus commission. So um, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll definitely be uh, investing in more equipment and better equipment and stuff like that to be doing this so i hope y'all heard me if not i did this all for nothing i'm just gonna have to delete it so hopefully y'all could all hear me what i was saying and uh i'll holla at y'all this is aj coldest barber peace